What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another Gun Guide. This is the series where I go into great detail with all of the stats of every one of the weapons in COD World War II. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the gun that I've seen requested most from you guys in the comment section. This is the M1928 Thompson. So first up, as always, let's have a look at some of the in real life stats. The Thompson submachine gun originally entered production in 1921, but as the years went on, several different iterations were introduced. The model that's used in COD World War II is the M1A1. This model was adopted by the US military in 1938, and it fires a 45 ACP at approximately 700 rounds per minute. This particular model of the Thompson submachine gun is only designed to handle a 20 or 30 round magazine, although Call of Duty did take a few liberties in this area, and they allow us to attach a drum magazine with extended mags. In COD World War II, our damage profile with the Thompson is 30, 23, 19, meaning this weapon is always going to be a 4, 5, or 6 shot kill. Our rate of fire with this, just like with many of the guns in this game, is exaggerated from the real life counterpart at 833 rounds per minute, and with rapid fire we bump that all the way up to 886 rounds per minute. Our statistical minimum time to kill is 216 milliseconds up close, 288 milliseconds within the 5 shot kill range, and 360 milliseconds in the 6 shot kill range. This is one of the fastest killing SMGs in the game when we're looking at all of its ranges combined. It is technically beat out by the MP40 within those really close like point blank ranges because the MP40 has a 3 shot kill range and the Thompson does not. But aside from that, the only other SMG in this game that beats the Thompson in time to kill is the Waffe 28. So just looking at these numbers here, it appears the Thompson is one of the more powerful SMGs in the game, but we've definitely got some downsides that we'll get into as we get through the stats. For headshots, just like with all the SMGs, don't worry about headshots. Getting one single headshot is never going to change the number of shots to kill for your weapon. The only way you're going to be changing the number of shots to kill is within your 5 and 6 shot kill ranges. You have to hit every single bullet to the head, and that's not realistic with the recoil. Moving on to the ranges of the M1928, it's not the greatest in the SMG category. I would say it's far from the greatest in the SMG category. Our 4 shot kill range is approximately 10 meters, and our 5 shot kill range is approximately 20 meters. These ranges are worse than all of the other SMGs in the game, aside from the Waffe 28. With a suppressor, all of our ranges get reduced by 30%, and with advanced rifling, our 4 shot kill range remains unchanged, but our 5 shot kill range is increased by 25%. As for hardcore, as you can see, it doesn't have the greatest 1 shot kill potential in hardcore. Unless you're right up close and personal, it's going to be a 2 shot kill. Getting into idle sway, the Thompson seems pretty much standard for SMGs, which isn't necessarily a good thing. It does have a decent amount of idle sway that can definitely throw your shot off at those mid to somewhat longer ranges. Moving on to recoil, this is one of the big issues with the Thompson. The Thompson always tends to go upwards and to the right. You almost never see this thing kick to the left at all or downwards or anything. It's always upward and to the right. But you never really know what you're going to get. Sometimes it'll kick pretty much straight horizontally to the right, and there's basically no vertical movement. And then other times it'll kick basically just straight vertically, and it won't really sway to the right at all. This is one of the issues with the Thompson, is it's very unpredictable recoil. At least the overall trend is in the same direction, so you can kind of predict that you want to be pulling downwards and to the left a little bit. You just never know how much you're going to have to pull downwards and to the left to counteract that recoil. As for our hipfire spread, it's just slightly worse than most of the SMGs in the game. The higher fire rate SMGs, so the Waffe and the M1928, have just slightly worse hipfire spread. Our standard magazine capacity is 30 rounds with 90 rounds in reserve. And when we pop a drum magazine on here, which like I said isn't technically realistic with this particular model, but for game balancing sake we can pop a drum magazine on here, that'll give us 45 rounds in the mag as well as 135 in reserve. As for our reload time, this is actually the fastest in the SMG category. Our reload add time, which is the time it takes to reload without the unnecessary animation at the end, is 1.25 seconds. Moving on to some handling and mobility stats, our aim down sight time is 250 milliseconds, which is quite slow for SMGs, and it is more in line with the rifles in this game. Same thing goes with our sprint out time, also 250 milliseconds, which once again is more in line with the rifle category. Our movement speed is 100%, which is standard for SMGs, and our strafe speed while aiming down sight is 72%, which is once again standard for SMGs. So overall, when it comes to raw time to kill, the Thompson is actually quite a good gun. However, when you start looking at a lot of the other stats, you can see that it definitely doesn't excel in this game. That's not to say that you can't do well with this gun in the right hands, but you can clearly see that the Thompson is held back when it comes to handling with its aim down sight and sprint out time, it's relatively unpredictable and uncontrollable recoil, and also the fact that its range values aren't that great for the SMG category, so it really only excels in those closer range situations. 
The attachments that I recommend on this weapon are first off quick draw because you do have that slower aim down sight time by default so it's definitely nice to boost that up in those situations where you aren't coming out of sprint. Also extended mags. You do burn through a 30 round magazine pretty quickly with this weapon and therefore you're going to find yourself reloading very often if you don't have extended mags so I really like popping that on there. And also steady aim. I don't often recommend steady aim but since this has such a good fire rate in those up close situations with steady aim equipped on this you can melt people without even having to worry about aiming down sight with this weapon. As a result I wouldn't necessarily be combining quick draw with steady aim but I would pick one or the other. Moving on to a couple example classes that I have for the M1928. First up this is a great rushing airborne class and this thing is designed to shred with your hip fire. As you can see obviously we're running the airborne division and we've got steady aim and extended mags on this one. Combining that with Gunslinger, this allows us to sprint out immediately, assuming we're not breaking our sprint with aiming down sight, and we just start firing as we're sprinting. And this is great for getting right up close and personal with enemies, and just destroying them in those face-to-face -face gunfights where you run into each other and you're both sprinting. With this one, you can generally play pretty recklessly and just run around hip-firing like crazy. Obviously, there's still going to be situations where you'll want to aim down sight, but those will generally be less stressful situations, so you don't necessarily need quick draw with this particular setup. Next up I have an example for a more balanced, objective oriented class. With this one we're using the armor division so we don't have to worry so much about those nades and stuns and everything. And for our attachments we have quick draw and extended mags this time. For this one you can still hip fire in a lot of situations, but it's not going to be focused around hip firing. Generally we're still going to be aiming down sight, and therefore quick draw is going to help us a lot. For our basic training we have scoped which pretty much eliminates that idle sway and that helps quite a bit with the SMGs and in addition to that it allows us to stray faster in our gunfights which just makes us a harder target to hit. And then of course for our secondary we have a machine pistol and lethal a sticky grenade. Just like with previous episodes just keep in mind these classes are simply examples to give you guys a bit of an indication of how I like to run my classes with this weapon. Of course if you want to swap something out that better suits your playstyle then absolutely feel free to do so. So there we have it, that's going to wrap it up for today's gun guide. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about the Thompson? I've been hearing a lot of talk about this weapon, there's some people that are saying that it needs a buff, there's other people saying that it's just fine, I'd like to know your opinions down below. In addition to that, please let me know which gun you'd like me to cover next, we only technically have one SMG left to cover, which is the Vafa 28, I could just do that and finish off the SMG category, or if you guys would really like, I can always move into a different category of weapons. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.